Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We have a new vehicle part of the Explore the Horizon update, and that is the Chevy K10 Custom. I wasn't known as the Action Line. Well, the series of trucks was called the Action Line. Pretty cool, kind of a cool name. I don't know much about this truck. All I know is it looks pretty cool. I would totally want to drive one of these. Like, like a little cruise, like rent one of these. It kind of looks, it looks kind of sick. Let me know if any one of you guys have owned this in like real life. If you guys have actually like like grandparents or anybody's actually owned one of these. It's kind of sick to be honest. Oh, this is from 1972, so not too. It's a little old, but not too old. We've got the nice interior. It's good. It's the good classic interior. But I want to see what this thing can do in a race. So we're gonna have to go customize. It. All right. So starting with this engine, it has a V8 and it's 4x4 already, as you can see here. Uh, oh, we can add a single turbo if we wanted to. Uh, so we have the V8, which is this. Which is, that's okay. That's okay. We're not gonna use the V8. If, if it, I'm kind of. Oh, well, all right, how about no? Uh, racing V8, they're all just V8s? Do we have a diesel? V8 twin turbo. A foul. All right, this is gonna be that one video where we just go crazy. We're just immediately putting in the big engine. We're gonna skip the old one. We're putting in the big one. We're just gonna see what happens. I don't know if this is gonna go good. It's gonna go bad. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put that in 15,000 horses. Ay, ay, ay. That's a lot of horsepower. Let's go ahead and swap the anti lag. Oh my gosh. The chrome pipe just shooting for me. Jeez. Alright, stop the anti turbo lag in there. Gotta get everything else in here. For the tires, we gotta put on the off roads, obviously, because we're gonna be going cross country in this thing. Oh my god, look how tiny it is! <laughs> look how tiny the rims are! Oh, they were still tiny before. They just look a little bit different. But oh my gosh, alright, we gotta make these. We need, jeez, 305s in the front. Those are thick! Oh my gosh. And 305s in the back. You gotta match. That is absolutely... Ooh, tire profile. Let's go. Increase that tire profile. We need that. Oh, now we're talking. This is what I'm... Get the wheels... Yeah, space it out a little bit. Here we go. Add... Increase the width. I want to keep it classic. I like how it looks right now. I low-key don't even want to change the red. It's like... I think it's like super iconic how this looks right now. Like, I just love how this red looks on this, on this Chevy here. I'm not mad at it. I don't really do dig it. Does it have any upgrade upgrades? We have the the bar that you can put in front of it, which we could do. Um, what do we have in the back? Oh my gosh. All the trucks just have this in the back, I see. That's just like the main state. We're gonna leave it, we're gonna leave it naked. We're gonna leave it bare. We're gonna leave it how it is. I like how it is already. A thousand seven hundred horsepower and an S1 1972 truck what the heck are we doing all right just before we leaving into a race and actually drive this thing out because i'm gonna go ahead and drive it out i want to i want to look at the interior fully look at the nice chrome stitching we got some we got some etching on the side there there we got the chevy logo ah look at that we have a wow look at the old radio station look at the radio dials and all that stuff wow this brings me back to seeing like where tr how far trucks have come from this, and these still looking amazing, and seeing some of the new trucks that look absolutely insane. You can do some crazy things, but let's go ahead and just drive this thing out. How does this sound with the twin turbo? Oh boy. That is not as I don't know why I was expecting a supercharger noise. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know why I thought supercharger immediately. What are we fused with? Oh my gosh. Okay. This is more of a sleeper truck right now. This thing goes 211, probably 212. Oh my gosh. Yo. It breaks kind of good. We're going to have to see how it goes in a race, but I'm not. I don't mind. This thing is actually pretty sick. Dude, look at this thing. Wow. It's such a sleeper. You would think, oh, it's pretty slow. Maybe like 72 miles an hour at max, maybe 80, maybe pushing 100, maybe. Probably not even that fast. I don't know how fast some of these older vehicles are. I know they will maybe average around like 80. But, uh, yeah. This thing hitting 211 miles an hour is insane. Oh, man. I am so ready for this. Look at the. Oh, look at that Super Duty. Ooh! Ooh! It's glorious looking. We got a Bronco, we got a freaking Land Rover. Man. Let's be an off-road race. What are we doing? Ooh, ooh! It handles pretty well for an old for an old timer. Not bad. Oh no! 
We're not gonna look back. We totally tipped that guy over. I'm so sorry. Oh no. Oh dang, I think I saw it back then. We definitely tipped over. This thing is a, a looker though. I do love how this old Chevy looks. It looks very, very good. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a, we got a six by six. I thought we touched it. We didn't touch it. It's fine, it's fine. We pretend we touched it. Man, I love this six by six. That's right here. Oh my gosh, this thing looks so good. This red, it fits it and suits it perfectly. Absolutely love this thing. Ooh, I'm trying to get up there. They're being a little difficult right now. Can we get past the six by six? I can. We touched that flag. We did. That cactus almost screwed us up right there. Uh, there's really not that much to say, but like, let me, I wonder, I'm actually curious if any of you guys have ever seen one, like in person, have like touched one, like got in one, or even owned one. That'd be sick. It's definitely one of those vehicles that not a lot of people have or probably took care of that should have been taken care of. Uh, you gotta take care of some of these vehicles like this. Like, this is a looker right here. I love how this looks. I would love to see this with like a, like a cooler body kit and stuff added to it. And then maybe slap the diesel engine in here. And I'll probably fall in love with it even more. Because uh, if you guys don't know, I am a Ford guy. I will always be a Ford guy and live and die by them. But I absolutely do love me some certain Chevys and maybe one or two Rodgers. Most of the time, it's mostly Ford and Chevy. It's like these guys, yeah. Especially when it comes to the cars. But the trucks are a hit and miss when it comes to Chevy. Oh my gosh, man. When it comes to Chevy or Dodge. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but, uh, you know, some of the vehicles just look a little, look, look a little weird. <laughs> I would say definitely the early, like the early 2000s, so like 2010 Dodges, just that whole Dodge. This is not it. I love the 1990 to early 2000s Dodges. Those I like a lot. Those are the 2010 Dodges. No, they finally started looking a little bit more decent, but uh, not too bad. But this Chevy, though, in a lot of the guys, almost obviously, which Chevy truck is pretty decent. But this thing right here is super fun to drive. It handles very well for having a thousand eight hundred horsepower in this. It doesn't feel like it. It literally feels like it's just a souped-up truck, obviously, duh. But you're able to handle it. It's so it's so odd. I was expecting me not to be able to handle it, but it handles very well. It's so crazy upgrading a truck and then realizing it started, this truck started horsepower wise with the normal V8 and it's four, obviously the 4x4. Four four. Or the horsepower number is only 175. That's it. And we put a thousand, almost 800 horsepower into this truck. Absolutely absurd. But thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys like, subscribe. We'll be streaming later today, I think. Or we might be streaming while this video is getting edited or the video might come out tomorrow. It's probably going to come out today being Thursday. I'm recording this on Thursday, so yes, it should come out today. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Follow me on all the socials. Link down below. Follow some of my friends if you guys see a group of people. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. I'm out of here.